Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Prey. This is the Predator spinoff that's uh, streaming exclusively on Hulu. Uh, so I just got to watch the movie. It stars uh, Amber uh, Midthunder as a girl named Naru. Now this takes place in the 17, 1719 on the High Plains. So she's a, she's a Comanche woman uh, living, you know, traditional lifestyle back then of, of the Comanche. Um, and she's, uh, she's like a budding warrior. She wants to be a warrior, but of course in this society, they expect women to do a traditional role, but she's kind of rebelling against that. She wants to, you know, join the men on the hunt. Uh, she wants to help protect, uh, the tribe and everything. So she's definitely got that rebellious spirit. Um, and she's always hunting along, uh, with her dog too. They're always going out on adventures together. So anyways, uh, it's... Basically set up for this uh, movie is that uh, in the beginning of the movie, you do see a predator ship come down through the clouds uh, that you see at like, the start of uh, most uh, predator movies. And so then what's going on there is that uh, some one of um, one of their tr warriors while out on a hunt by himself is killed. Now, uh, they think that uh, now everybody in the tribe thinks the fellow warriors think that, uh, oh, this is a bear or a mountain lion. Or something like that did that but she's like no 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 because she sees clues that you know that she sees like a skin uh snake that was skinned uh she sees like looks like what looks like bipedal footprints left behind and just the way that everything was done she's like no it, it, it you know it looks like more than that it doesn't look like a wild animal uh and of course nobody believes her um and then when they do uh find a mountain lion because she she's confronted by a mountain lion and then they kill it and then her and her brother uh, her brother brings her back and he's like hey you gotta stay here and everything so, but anyway she's she's uh committed that um that there's more to it so she goes out to investigate herself out in the out in the wilderness there on the warriors and then that's where um she and then when her other warriors got to find her that's when they're all confronted by the predator and so um it, it all goes uh you know just crazy from there and of course you expected the predator movie he you know he Predator can camouflage itself. He has advanced weaponry to kill anyone that he deems a sport that it's, that it's a challenge. So it's killing. Um, so at one point it kills a bear, which is a pretty awesome scene. It'll kill. Uh, it'll kill a wolf. Um, and then it'll kill other people. So it'll kill fellow, uh, other warriors. And then um, it'll even kill some uh, French uh, French soldiers or hunters that uh, they come across later on. In fact, and in fact, the, the French are probably just as or even worse than the uh, predator, the way they treat uh, Naru and her tribe. So, um, so and of course, you know, going to this movie, you think, oh my gosh, how can this girl in the 1700s with primitive technology stand a chance against the predator? Well, it actually, the way they do it, it really makes it work. I mean, it's definitely in the vein of the first predator movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger, the way that, you know, you fight a kind of like guerrilla style tactics against a stronger enemy that's who has more advanced technology. Uh, you just, you know, you take it to them, you use clever traps and uh, knowledge of the terrain to out, you know, to outdo, uh, to beat your enemy. And so, um, outlast and, out, and beat your enemy. And that's pretty much what goes on in this movie. So, the showdown between her and the Predator is great. Like I say, it definitely harkens back to the uh, first uh, Predator movie. Uh, so, I think, to me, this it was definitely the best movie since that first Predator movie. M meant Definitely reminds me in so way much. I mean, personally, I think this is what the Predator franchise should have been this entire time. Instead of like, um, I mean, Predator 2 was okay. And the first Predator ones, they were, uh, you know, they were just, they're kind of schlob for what they were. Um, and then, of course, you had the Predators movie, which was okay uh, with Adrian Brody. That was that was an okay movie. But then the new, that new Shane Black one was, was pretty bad. That was got awful. So I think this is what the Predator movie should have been all the time. They should have just gone back and show the Predators, because they had hinted that in previous Predator movies that um, the Predators have been coming to, been coming to Earth for centuries. Um, and the, they, I mean, they hinted that in Predator too. So I think this is what they should have been doing this entire time, is having, showing the Predator coming back during different times in human history, in different countries or whatever, and showing how the uh, a local warrior in whatever, wherever it is, you know, manages, manages to survive fight back against the predator who has much uh he's got the advantage of being 
uh, cloaking itself invisible and was much just much superior technology and killing power. So I like I said I I love this movie. I I really enjoyed Amber Mid Thunder. Uh, I think she, I think she'll be a star. She was such she was so believable in this role. Um, she's such a good actress. She believed her pathos, um, and she just came off as such a badass. And you thought like yeah, if anyone can take down a predator in this period of time, it's her. Like she was very believable. So I was very much engaged in her story. Um, I said I, I think she she's definitely gonna get roles from this movie now, um, and I think she's gonna be a big star in Hollywood, in my opinion. But um, I said I really enjoyed this movie, so I highly recommend uh, Prey if you have uh, Hulu. Uh, definitely check it out. I mean, this is what I, like my like I said, this is what the Predator movie should have been, and it's a great reinvention slash reboot of um, of the uh, Predator franchise. Um, so hopefully they can do more ideas like this. In fact, I've, I've already heard people say they're like, oh, they want. Uh, Predator movie now set in uh, feudal Japan, which I think too. I think that'd be great. That'd be I'd watch that in a heartbeat. <laughs> that'd be awesome. And other deals like that. So hopefully they 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 continue to do that and put like just set the Predator in different periods of history in different parts of the world. Uh, I think that would be awesome. So anyways, that's um, so check it out. And let's say that's my review of Prey on Hulu. Have you seen it yet? And comment below if you've seen it what you thought uh once again thank you for uh tuning in everyone and please like share and subscribe and i will talk to you later